Nigeria. This is Nigeria. You want to know what's going on? Well, last, I will tell you now. Fellow Nigerians, if I win, of course I know I will win. Just go to bed. My word is my bond. I have said it and I will do it. Who are we talking about here? Stay with me on this one. I promise you will enjoy it. But before we discuss, most of you, our audience, must have noticed we went offline for some days. We didn't mean to, but because we lacked funds to produce our videos, we had to go offline for a while and then come back. If you have been with us on this channel and you love what we do, please do well to support us. The account detail is on your screen right now. God bless you. Now back to our discussion for today. Watch this video. We will establish student loan. Four years course. But before he has course, the variables, we take care of the variables. Interest rate, when does it start? When do you start to pay? When do you start to be employed? What aspect of it is, is to be written of the NYC? Or when does it We answer those questions. They are questions. They are answers. <laughs> Conceptually, the student loan, no one should be left behind. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, promising student loan to Nigerian students isn't a new promise. He already did that, even as a leader of his party, the APC, when he campaigned for President Muhammad Buhari to take out President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan in 2015. Here is the video. Watch. They are failing on every economic aspect. They cannot create jobs for you. Are you not tired of it? You went to the university for seven, eight years. Instead of four years course, are you not tired for it? Are you not? School fees is becoming a thing of tears. Are you not tired of it? I can teach them how to create jobs locally. We will give you student loan. Our program, four years will be four years. You will not stand before four years to graduate a university. By the time on your fourth year, you will be taken through that critical part. He said he wants to address the Nigerian youth. I'm now replying to the president. Said Lord Jonathan. He said he will address. The 10 billion jobs? How? 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 The question is, has Tinubu and his party, the APC, kept to their promise of student loan over these years? Tinubu and his party, the APC, promised to eradicate ASO strike and make four years program to be four years without any extension. It is just too funny that the longest asshole strike ever witnessed in this country happened in this government, headed by the APC. How then do we trust this same party and its presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinubu? I'll leave you to answer that question. How about fuel subsidy removal? Tinubu have something to say. Watch this video. Ah, uh ah, -uh, ah, uh ah, -uh, ah. Uh -uh. No matter how long you protest, though, we are going to remove subsidy. <laughs> that is the truth. That is the truth. Uh, unless you don't, you know, and I'm going to win this election. <laughs> Don't change the formula on me. <laughs> I don't go green. <laughs> but once Buhari keeps his promise of free and fair election, I'm going to win. <laughs> I 
I, I'm going to keep all my promises to you. Why should I live as a rich man? Or fairly rich man? I forecast. Forecast of four chips. I'll be paying the same price for Maurice Minor. Why, why should we? We can invest the money wisely. When that was fashionable, the era is gone. The era is not narrow. Other economies are already building charge stations. We are yet to generate electricity to even roast barley. <laughs> it is not comparable. Hey, that job. Please, let us do it. We can do it. You heard him right. If you like, protest from Damascus to Jericho. His mind is made up on fuel subsidy. He said he will remove it and nothing will happen. This is very interesting to know. But I do remember that the biggest protest that took out President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan from the Aso Villa was about fuel subsidy removal. And it happened right there in Lagos State with the stakeholders as members of the now ruling APC. That protest was put together by Pastor Tunde Bakari who today is a member of the APC and even contested the party's primary to replace President Muhammad Buhari. But then he couldn't secure even a single vote after his uh, long sermon to the delegates. Tinubu, as the leader of the party APC, couldn't convince President Muhammad Buhari to remove fuel subsidy during his eight years in office as president. Sam Tinubu is campaigning with fuel subsidy removal today. Nigeria, it's time to wisen up. So, is Tinubu in any way passing the message that President Buhari, who he looks up to and wants to continue with his legacy, according to him, failed Nigerians? This can be very confusing. Finally, PVC collection is now on. I will close on the 22nd of January, 2023. Please, go and collect your PVC now. It's time to vote in the right person come 2023. On this note, I will say happy weekend, Merry Christmas, and a prosperous New Year in advance. I will see you on Monday, Boxing Day. Don't you think you're forgetting something? Yes, the subscription button. Click on it right now.